Hello, everybody. I'm going to be live on twitch.tv slash Darth Microtransaction at 8 p.m. EST. That is live at Reset for Raid Shadow Legends. But this video today is a, a Q&A, a full AMA, as you will, about anything that people want to know about me. I left this question in the community, and I'm going to go through and read these questions now. Now, I haven't read through all of these questions yet. I've seen one or two of them, but I'm going to read them all live for you now and answer them as we go. So without further ado, here we go. Hey DM, wanted to ask you what's the best advice for people in mid game trying to transition to late game. Personally, I'm three king brew though, so I don't know if I can move to late game yet, but just want tips on gearing and dungeons and stuff. Uh, for the most part, moving to late game is a gear thing. And the best way to acquire gear is by doing Dragon 20. Now, if you're wanting all the like the Platinum Arena gear and stuff, you're not going to be able to get it without having good gear already, okay? And you can't move into late game by doing Arena and getting gear from there because everyone else is going to already have gear when you get into it. So it's best to go and get your gear in PvE ways. And the best PvE way is farming Dragon 20. Most players that are already in the in-game are still farming Dragon 20, and we've been doing so for, you know, about a year at this point. So... Farming Dragon 20 is, and pretty much always is, the answer to that question. Rhythm LOL leaves a question, says, do you like living in Alaska? A favorite place you've ever traveled? Uh, good question. So I, I do enjoy living in Alaska when it's nice here. In the summer, it can be beautiful and can be basically the best place on the planet. Uh, but the winters are long. And if you don't enjoy winter sports, there's not too much to do on the outside except suffer. And for that reason, I'm not too much of a fan Plus, uh, it can be somewhat expensive here due to how well uh, oil has done for the economy up here. Uh, housing tends to be expensive and most things tend to be expensive up here as people have money to spend on those things due to oil having done so well for most people's jobs 20 to 30 years ago. A good chunk of people up here uh, are you know, slope workers. They work on the oil line. And for that reason, uh, rent can be pretty expensive in the min uh, main city areas. Whereas the places I live, they're a little bit more rural, kind of outside of the more main cities. It can be not too bad to give you an idea. I pay like $900 a month for the place I rent, which isn't too bad. Um, and it's, I'd say, slightly better deal than average for where I live, but you know, it's, it's okay. Favorite place I've ever traveled? Um, traveled to most states due to the fact that we bought a motor home in Florida when I was younger and we drove that all the way up, including through the Alcan back to Alaska and we visited most states along the way. Uh, for that reason, I think the more Southern states like Florida were my favorite. I've been to Hawaii twice uh, and I enjoyed, I enjoyed it both times. Um, Hawaii is probably up there mostly because I really like scuba diving and snorkeling and things related to the ocean. I mean, it's the whale pod uh, because I do really like the ocean. So that's, that's probably the answer for that one. Bo says, hello, DM. What is your best advice for mid-game players obtaining better gear for late game? This is basically just goes back to the what I was saying last time, which is Dragon. I mean, Dragon drops the best gear for almost everything, and you really just want to farm a ton of Dragon. You're going to need to farm Fire Knight. However, um, there, well, there's two ways to do it. You can either just do tons of Dragon to the point of where you have good speed gear, then you get into Platinum Arena and you Swift Parry gear for your crit damage. That's one way to do it for sure. And we'll probably scale way better into late game, but it's hard to get. You gotta get the RNG right. You only get paid over every Platinum and then you have to make it into Platinum. You have to have the right characters. It's a whole mess. The better way to do it is to farm Fire Knight uh, for the crit damage gear and get good crit damage gear for people like Code Hearts, Royal Guards, people that really matter. And then from there, continue with the farm things like speed gear. And then uh, if, if you want reflex gear or things like that, you can farm that way when you need it. Uh, mostly just Dragon Man. I mean, when it comes to gear, it's almost always Dragon. There's no secret to it. And the only other secret to it is buying good packs as it goes. And you don't really want to do that. It's spendy money. So farm Dragon, man, there's not a secret to it. Will you marry me? No. Sup DM, do you have any plans on returning to Star Wars Galaxy Heroes? I remember you saying you were considering returning as a business move. So a while ago, I was talking about the idea um, of returning sort of as a Kraken persona with my Kraken mask and Star Wars Galaxy Heroes, maybe potentially on a second channel and doing a like a faux stupid persona of someone who just wows out and buys like the Galactic Legends and all these things. I really like this idea. I think this could have been a really fun thing to do. Um, unfortunately... In my opinion, Star Wars Galaxy Heroes is getting worse, not better. And 
for a minute, I thought it was getting better because Galactic Legends looks pretty fun. But I think as things are continuing, it's continuing to get worse. And the more and more I wait to see if I still want to go back into there or make videos on it, the more and more I think I really don't, which is unfortunate because I actually kind of miss the game. The game was fun due to the raid system. Jbar, have you lived in Alaska your whole life? Have you ever considered poker as a career? Um, I have lived in Alaska my whole life, yes, 29 years. Have you considered poker as a career? I've played a lot of poker, uh, including cash games, you know, online before Black Friday, all those things. I've actually played with Kyra Mobile, a pretty good amount of person. And uh, I, at one point I uh, deluded myself into thinking I was a good poker player. I think most people who play poker a decent amount at one point will make themselves think they're a decent poker player, but most often you're not. And so, yeah, I considered it, uh, but I won't say seriously or for long. What sort of advice would you give yourself, family, friends, if you could go back five to 10 years from now? That's a pretty heavy question. Um, what I would personally say five, 10 years ago, I would say slow life down. Like understand that once I'm 29 now and getting into 30s, I still feel really young and developing. Like I don't feel middle age or going into middle age. I feel young, developing and still building, you know? And I think five or 10 years ago, I had a lot of anxiety and like stress on myself to like perform and have my life be successful. And I didn't really realize that uh, success doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. It, you know, all it really does is keep you financially secure and safe in that regard, pay for medical bills and stuff like that in terms of like success in terms of financial wise. And the real, the real definition of success in my opinion is just how, how happy the people around you are when they're with you. Like I, the way I see it is I consider myself successful in life if the people around me are happier when they're with me than when they're without me. Does that make sense? Like if, if the people around you think you're good to them, you know, you treat people good and, and uh, you do your best, I mean, that's kind of like, I mean, what, what else is the real point of life? You know, I mean, it's if there's no one else, like every every video game I ever played was a multiplayer game and they're the only ones I've really play, ever played. Single player, I play on Twitch and stuff. Um, I like interacting with people. I mean, I, I kind of think that's the point of my point of life. So I'd probably go back five or 10 years and like re-explain that to myself and probably would have helped relieve pressure back then. King Spartan says, any plans on doing a world tour to meet fans, friends, who are all your role models in life? Okay, so meeting fans or friends would be amazing. I would love to do at least a TwitchCon appearance or some kind of like YouTube appearance for event, E3, something, um, and meet up with some people. As far as like doing a world tour, I've played around with the idea of actually building out what we call the WellPod van, which would be like a Sprinter van with, um, you know, solar panels and the whole deal, you know, in, inside turned into a house, you know, basically like a van life type of deal and uh, going around with a microphone and you know, almost doing like Billy on the street stuff with viewers, like meeting up with you. The problem is there's a few problems with this innately. One is it costs money. Two, your internet's a problem because where, you know, you got every single day, you got to think about where's your internet. Uh, your upload schedule would change uh, consistently based upon like the time zones you're in. There's a lot of issues with this idea. Uh, it is something that would be fun and I'm playing around with it, but it's not something that's gonna happen until we're like in the hundreds of thousands, if not millions of subscribers. Uh, so we're probably talking a three year minimum until this thing becomes realistic. Who are the role models in my life? So I always, I said at one point in my life that if I became half the man my dad is, like I consider myself a good man. And, and I, I hold true to that uh, when it comes to like, treating your people. I, I would say my dad's been a role model in my life and being what I would call like a reliable, consistent person who you know you're gonna be taken care of. Like if you have if you have this guy in your life, you know you're gonna be taken care of, right? And my mom would be my role model in terms of like being able to do unbiased, rational thought. I think my mother is one of the people I've talked to the most, uh, you know, just in my life because I enjoy her as a person, you know, as, as well as a friend, you know, she's just a good friend and, uh, She's, I think she's probably a large part of what I am responsible for, like the way I can critically think. I think I'm a pretty good critical thinker and I can, you know, take myself outside of situations and, and think about that and, you know, whatnot. There's not really too much of a role for that type of stuff on this channel because most of this time this is just dumb welling persona or just having fun or, you know, talking about what we don't like in a game. It's pretty low level stuff. Um, but I think my ability to like plan business stuff and think critically like that, probably from my mom and dad. So mom and my parents would be role models, but if we're gonna get outside like the obvious family answers, you know, um, 
really, I think where I'm going to get, you know, I should throw my brother in there too, as far as family, because my brother is a role model of a whole different type in terms of like grinding. The guy's a grind, you know, he's a hard worker. So he understands the grind. But in, in, outside the family, I would say role models when it comes to like performance in terms of what I want to do, you know, when it comes to the YouTube stuff is I really like how uh, Bill Burr does his podcast. Like I like the, I like the concept of all he really does is attempt to entertain you. And it's like an unapologetic this is who I am. I'm going to do my best to make you laugh. You know, I'm not trying to be offensive. We're all just trying to have a good time. This isn't serious. And I love the concept that he, that he believes that it's like, why do you need my opinion on super serious things to be like your informed, super serious opinion? My job is to make you laugh and to be entertaining. And that's my job. If you want to go get, you know, it, th that's why I uh, find people like him like a role model or people like George Carlin who are like, they, they understand their lane and they do it so well, you know, to the point of, uh, you, know, you know, to the point of they don't, they don't get outside of what it is that makes them special and pretend to be something else. Like, uh, you know, Bill Burr isn't suddenly saying that his, you know, the reason he's successful is because he's like an amazing rapper or something. Like if I came out with, you know, and dropped my rap album that by the way, I'm working on for fun, you know, but I'm pretending that the reason I'm successful is because I'm a rapper as terms like just a mobile game player. Like you're not staying in your lane. Like that's why I always found uh, Bill Burr so appealing personally is because uh, he's unapologetically himself. And so he takes or leaves it. So you're like, you like him or you don't. So I'd say there's a role model in that aspect. Kind of a long way to answer, but a long question. So this guy asked if I finally uh, mastered the trick to open a beer bottle, just a lighter. This was on a, a stream. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't able to open a beer for forever. And no, I can't do it with a lighter yet. Uh, what would you do if you weren't a YouTuber? I'd probably still be doing, you know, uh, either working, I was in the electrical union for a bit doing call center type of stuff, or I would still be selling cars, or I would be doing, uh, you know, just streaming. Um, I did coaching for a bit on some other like random games and stuff. And uh, I've always kind of been in the working with people. Like I, if it wasn't in sales, then it was in uh, like, in, and to give you an example, in college, I was like an RA, right? So I did the whole like working with people. I right? technically was called peer mentor, but it's basically the same thing. But my job was more like a psychological one of just making sure people were feeling okay. Like I've always done stuff like that, you know, like working with people. And uh, I wanted to be a physical therapist assistant at one point before the YouTube stuff started taking off because I would, I, I thought it would be really enjoyable to do something where I can openly see me benefiting people. I thought it would be a really like, meaningful way to live your life. And uh, I, I debated myself for doing that. But at one point I needed $5,000 to go to college and that was an insurmountable amount of money for me at the time. Now it's something that's like, yeah, no problem. But like then it, before the YouTube became what it was, that would, that seemed, you know, it might as well have been a million dollars, right? So uh, in terms of like, what did you learn study? I did three years of college for a computer science engineering degree back when it was, uh, it was under Java for the program. Then they switched it to C++ and I lost a lot of my credit validity, you know, of validity. And uh, I didn't, I just gave up at that point. So I could have kept going, uh, but I was not doing good in classes. I wasn't showing up. I had depression and all kinds of things that were causing me not to be doing well in school. And to be honest, I joined a school way too early. I went straight from high school into school. I should have taken a gap year and just uh, like learned myself before trying to make myself fit into life. I should have understood who I was before trying to like cram myself into what everyone else wanted me to do. And so that would have probably been a better thing to do. Should I build up my cult brawler, Aothar, Julian, or Steel Skull for Clan Boss? Have some epic books want to focus on Clan Boss. Maury shows me his picture here. I saw this earlier, I was looking at it. Uh, you already have Bad L, so I'd probably say you could probably do a cult brawler since you already have someone that's gonna do a cleanse, do pretty good for sustained cleanse with heroes and all that. So we're gonna move on here. AMA questions, if Raid disappeared tomorrow, what game would you start making content for? If you could redo it all, what, would you still be a content creator? If you could control the delay, anything from your life, what would it be? Um, so if Raid disappeared tomorrow, I'm not actually that worried about it at all. I've kind of always, maybe I'm pretending something it's not, but I have always believed that I built my base around myself and not around whatever game it is I'm playing. Like, I don't believe my content is based around me being an extremely high level professional Raid Shadow Legends player. I'm far from it. I play more casual for fun. I try to make videos that are enjoyable 
almost regardless if you play the game or not. And I try to make the channel based around, you know, you enjoying listening to my voice. I mean, that's what YouTube breaks down to is somebody's talking to you. And if you don't enjoy that, then I'm really not doing my job. I think that I enjoy what I do so much, I couldn't imagine doing something else with my life at this point because I love it so much. If I could control all delete one thing from my life. Um, I mean, PTSD is a, a mother I'd say. And uh, I mean, it takes years to get rid of that. So I'm still working on that one. I would, that would go out the window, I think. Do you collect raid legendaries like baseball cards, comics? Uh, oh, this is, do you collect other than one? To tell you what, I'll attach in a video uh, and a little clip of like musical instruments and stuff right now for you. So one of, the, one of the questions on the AMA is, do I collect? And he asked specifically like musical instruments. So the answer is yes, I actually do. I have a bass, uh, carbon fiber, acoustic. I got five more over here. These are a couple of Deans, a Fender and Ibanez and a Les Paul. Um, I also have a, uh, for this is a uh, MK, I think it's a MK88 uh, synthesizer workstation, does beats and stuff. Um, I have a piano over here. I own an electric drum set, a saxophone, uh, harmonicas, a couple other things I think I don't really remember. I'll include the clip of me playing the guitar. So that's going to wrap it up. I hope this AMA was an enjoyable experience. No ads or anything, just for fun. Wanted to kind of get this out to my community. I love you all. And I got to go live on Twitch uh, in a half hour here. So I got to get this video edited and out. And I'll see you guys in the live stream here shortly.